Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be fixing the problem with our weapon shooting too much. You can see that if we just spam it will uh, play the animation multiple times but it actually won't shoot every time. As you can see we need to fix that and I think that's because we're if we go into our player motor script we're shooting in our um, update function here and we're not taking into account the gun script and the fire rate that we made so we'll somehow have to change the condition in this shoot method so if you go to our gun script we need a new animator this one will be, will be the player animator so I'll just call it anim and then I'll make sure that anim is equal to game object dot find game object with tag player dot get component in children and then give it the animator that should find the fps arms animator now every time we shoot what we want to do up here is go ahead and say anim dot set trigger attack trigger like that and if we go back to our player motor script we can delete this line of code. If we play the game, you can see that there is no more delaying or any uh, kind of problem while shooting, or at least with the animations. So we fixed that problem, but we have a second one. You can see that if we play the attack animation for our weapons or for our, our guns, you see that it plays just the knife animation. So it works for this set of uh, animations, but it doesn't really work for this one. So what we need to do is go back into Blender and create two more animations. We haven't done this in a long time, but let's go into Blender. Go file open, go into your uh, place where you save them, Blender saves. Let's go to the primary animation first. So I'll just go to the idle animation. And here what I want to do is just kind of tilt the arms upwards. So it may seem like I'm shooting. So around, I'll delete the middle frame and then I'll go to around frame 10 and uh, I will just take this main root bone, press R, X and maybe move it a bit up like this and then press I. So I can see that that's a bit too slow so I'll just move it to frame 5 and move this last thing to frame uh, 10 and maybe then just uh, set the end frame here to 11. You can see that that it looks much better. I'll rename it down here from idle primary to shoot primary and then I'll go file export FBX FPS arms shoot primary click selected objects and uncheck this thing for scale go to primary or sorry go to FBX and then primary and save it as uh, as the shoot animation I'll go open and then I'll open my secondary idle animation and here the same thing, uh, I will delete this middle frame and then I'll take this, move it to frame 10, go to frame 5 and then I will just rotate it for a bit on the x-axis, press I and let's see how this looks. Change the end frame to 11, you can see that that looks uh, nice. So I'll just change it to shoot secondary. Go export FBX and I will export this as shoot secondary. Check these things for scale and uh, selected objects. Now go second, uh, go FBX and then secondary and then save it. Back in Unity we need to go to our FBX animations, go to our um, primary and then I will just have to find my animation. So for the primary one just drag the shoot primary one into Unity. And then go for the secondary one, just uh, drag the shoot secondary into the secondary folder. Now I need to make sure that it has the same settings as the rest of the animations. So I'll just change the scale factor to 0 0.2 and apply it. Go to the rig, set it to copy from other avatar and then copy from the FPS human avatar. Or sorry, that's the wrong one. Go to the FPS arms avatar and then click apply. Do the same thing for the secondary animation. So once you find it like this, copy from other avatar, get the FPS arms avatar and click apply. 
Also go to the model and uh, change the scale factor to 0 0.2. Now if you go to FPS arms in the hierarchy, double click on the animator uh, and you can see that we have three sets of animations. And if I go to the primary one, uh, I can go to the attack knife zero, go here to the motion and change it to shoot primary. And also I will, I think I will rename it uh, somewhere up here. And instead of being attack knife, I'll just go ahead and say shoot primary. Also go to the secondary set of animations, do the same thing, go to the attack animation change it up here to shoot secondary and then uh, rename it up here to shoot secondary. Save that and if we go into our game, shoot with a primary weapon, you can see that it kind of tilts it up with the secondary animation. You can see that it kind of tilts it up. Now, since I don't, I, I think this is not good enough, I will just go back into Blender and make this more impactful because it's very, it's not very noticeable. It's still not that good, so I'll go back to my animator and uh, check if what's the speed of the animation and I think it's two, yeah. So now just change it to one in uh, both layers. So instead of having speed on two, I'll just set it to one and see how that works. For the primary animation, it's not that noticeable, but I guess that's kind of good. But for the secondary animation, I really like it. It goes really far up and uh, it looks cool. Small thing for the FPS arm before we leave. Uh, the main camera, I think, is a bit too far back, so I'll kind of move it forwards, I guess. Because I, I think it looks a bit better if we have it like this. Yeah, that's much better. I think I moved it for a very small amount. So I'll just copy that amount and uh, stop the game and now change it to that here. And uh, I, think, I think that's pretty much it for this episode. In the next few episodes we should be fixing a few more bugs. If you know any bugs, uh, maybe just comment down below and try to fix them. Hopefully you enjoyed this, hopefully this helped you, hopefully you learned something new. And if you did, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, follow me on my social media, there's links to that in the description. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.